is the first of many videos that I'll be creating on this series and I'm going to call Orbital Mechanics with Python. And the reason I want to make this video series is because of the experience that I had over the years learning Orbital Mechanics. So there are many great sources on YouTube, other places on the internet, and then books that talk about Orbital Mechanics that I use along the way. But I never found any that cover specifically software side of things and specifically how to implement it in Python, which is my favorite language. So because of that, I'm going to go over a little bit about de derivations, but I'm going to be focusing on Python. However, I'll be make sure to leave lots of links in the descriptions to good sources that I've used and that I found that were really helpful over time. I'm also going to be covering some aspects of computer science that may be outside of Python, but that I think are applicable and very useful that I use on a regular basis. So to get started, I'm going to show you some examples of some cool plots that you can make. Uh, so here's the first one. There's a lot going on here, but basically it's just if you're on an asteroid and you want to shoot something at it, a bunch of stuff's going to come out called ejecta. So this is just a quick simulation I wrote for that one. Let's refresh it real quick to see it again. It's kind of cool to watch. And let's see, next one, capture. Oh, actually, before that. So if you want to go to the moon with an impulsive transfer, this is what it looks like, basically. The green one is your spacecraft, and the pink one is the moon at when you launch and when you get there. So that's a long way, and then once you get close enough to the moon, you're going to capture yourself in lunar orbit like that. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, codes. So they're classical orbital elements. If you don't know what they are, you will assume, but basically there's these values that can describe an orbit. Um, and this is just in the presence of J2 perturbations. If you don't know what that is, that's fine too. I will cover it. See, this is an example of a low thrust trajectory where when you use uh, an electric engine, you have very low thrust in the scale of millinewtons to newtons. Uh, you're going to see a spiraling trajectory outward. Uh, Gauss non extended example of a two body orbit. If you know what that is, that's okay. But And then also a Gauss uh, method of orbit determination, which I'll get to later in the series. And then here's a simulation of the orbits of the planets. Um, as you can see, you've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. And then I got another view here. So you can see a different inclinations of these orbits. So those are just a few examples of what you'll be able to do. There's definitely plenty more. As I have these topics, you can kind of read over them. But these are the topics that I, th I put in order um, of what I think is important and what I think is a good... Uh, kind of order of learning how to do these things, especially in the software side of things. Um, here's another one. You can just kind of read through them. This animator class is the one that creates those animations. It actually just puts a bunch of GIFs together, or puts a bunch of images together into a GIF. And then to end this video, I'm going to talk about some books that I found and that I used when I was learning orbital mechanics that were super, super helpful. So this first one is here, Orbital Mechanics by Howard D. Curtis. And this one includes a lot of algorithms in MATLAB that he just gives out when you get his book, which are good. I don't have a problem with MATLAB. I just definitely prefer Python for a number of reasons. Maybe we'll get into them in another video, but you can find this book by just Googling title. Very useful. I'd highly recommend, or if you don't want to get it, I'm going to be using his, um, a lot of his algorithms for some stuff. And then for other things, this other book by, uh, David Bellotto, also super helpful, super helpful. And that's this one you can Get that book by just Googling this and you can kind of find it. Oh, let me do that. And yeah, so both these books do a good job explaining derivations and they provide algorithms for step by step for implementation of the software. But as I said, I hadn't seen anything on the internet really that is just about like actually putting in the software. So that's the goal of this video series I'm going to cover. So I think the f first topic I'm going to cover is a two body problem. Uh, basically just what an orbit looks like where all there is in the universe is one smaller body and one larger body So say you have a satellite uh, orbiting Earth. So that's going to be my first video and thank you for watching